Welcome to Anna Hank's Dinner Table. I'm Cassandra, and today I'm going to be unboxing Elizabeth Hargrave's newest game, Mariposa. Mariposa has you controlling butterflies, starting in Mexico, going north through the U.S. into Canada, and then back and down through multiple generations and seasons. Let's take a look inside. <laughs> The box is fairly simplistic with this back background and the butterflies moving along the edge, but it gets its point along very well. You know, it's going to be mainly about the monarch butterflies, but let's get further into it. So we start with the rule book, it's fairly heavy. Set up one page, and then lots of illustrations. Seems like the map's gonna be super colorful. Um, so it looks like it's only about 10 pages, and then we move into some like resource type things, example of season goals. Some just nice facts about the monarch butterfly credits and then on the very back there is a like reference page so you don't have to be pulling out the whole thing you can just look at the back of it then we have some punch outs um, looks like two pages we have some flower tokens that are double-sided and then some almost like cards and some other punch outs. Also, these ones are truly double-sided, different things on either side. So we will take a look at those a little closer. Later, we have a single page map and then the board map. Oh, we'll start here. So we've got quite a few different colors, butterflies, some circular ones, and a die, singular, with some flowers on it. Take a closer look at each of these butterfly pieces in a second. And then these are really nice, they're little boxes to put things in, but they're engraved with a butterfly. And we have two, five of these. Some extra bags. Love the bags. Say it every time. I like to keep my games organized and in place. Some large tarot sized cards, as well as a deck of smaller than usual cards. We skipped the standard size. I will open all of these cards and the punch out. So this is everything out of the box. We had quite a few different types of cards. We had these tarot sized ones and they had three different colors. This orange, green, and yellow. The orange and green had five and then the yellow had ten. Let's take a look at one of them. So at the top there is a one for every thing above Toronto it seems like it's gonna say and then I'm not even sure what that means but something above Atlanta so there's two different things on there looks like you're gonna score victory points with that one yeah these are very similar and then moving to the smaller ones so all of these cards here had the same back this one um, but there were obviously a couple different sets in here um, the green blue and pink all had 20 cards and were comprised of these four smaller decks this like um, 
egg-like thing, a caterpillar, um, I don't remember what it's called, but the next step from once the caterpillar molts, it's like three things, like a cocoon thing, and then the butterfly itself. And then these ones had movement-like things on them, but with that back, the other deck looked exactly like this, just instead of being green, was orange. Same thing with a butterfly and like moving type things. But this orange one has a black butterfly on it instead of that like white with the th four different phases of a butterfly's life. So, I'm wondering what their differences will be. And then with these punch outs that are the same size as the smaller decks, so they also feel like cards, they have the same picture with the four stages of the butterfly's life. Just instead of being white, they are black and they have different things written on them. So take one extra turn at the end of fall. Um, Gain two way station cards of your choice. A whole bunch of different types of things. Um, matching that background with the black, we also have tokens that look like this. And on the other side, they all have a couple different things. They have some that say like plus two. Um, one with this like flower. And then some have like this butterfly with the blue background and there's you know a caterpillar with the pink background so that correspond it seems like to these cards here the other punch outs were the flowers there were a lot more flowers than I thought there were gonna be in that punch out and there were five different types so can't tell you much about them looks kind of like a sunflower yeah not really up tulips maybe not really up on my flowers though but that's them and there were a whole bunch of each of them and they match the die but it is a six-sided die so we have the same symbol that I pointed out with like the white flower is also here so I'm interested in what that means then the player pieces, so there were 10 butterflies and a round like score token thing maybe, um, but each of the butterflies had a different number. Most of them were single sided, so like this one has a one and nothing on the back, but the four had the four like the one, but when you flip it over, it's not empty. It's four times two, and there's printed two butterflies there instead of like this one larger one. And they came and there was one labeled one, there were two labeled two, three labeled three, and four labeled four. That was everything in the box. Well, so there were two different types of boards. They had the main board, I would say, it's the larger board, um, that is more like the map. So this is where you're starting and ending. And then we have all of the different flowers that there were, some cities here, um, and those colors that those gold cards, I think they were, um, do match here. So now it makes a little bit more sense to how you get those types of points and this card backs those different ones um the green yellow and orange match the spring summer and fall and then we have a score tracker here so very nice i definitely like the layout it's a little different than normal because normally you have like the score tracker going around the edges and a lot more standard places like you're gonna move one space at a time where this seems a lot more open a little less confined to just like a square or a circle 
and then the other one was um, here. So all of those different um, decks that had the four stages seem to live here. And then those cards, the cardboard ones that had the black background instead of the white, they seem like they go here. And then it says each collected life cycle card is worth one point. So those were the boards. Let's get it all back into the box. We, I had already put the player colors in those five nice little trays with the butterflies on them. I was then able to take the bag that used to have the player pieces in them, dropping it, and put the black singular butterfly with the orange bottoms into one of them. Put all the flower tokens and that flower die into one of them and then all everything else. So everything that had this four stages of life, the colorful white cards, the black cards, as well as the little tokens into another one. Then you can just see it peeking out there all of the larger tarot size cards I just put right back into their little envelope thing and it slides in the bottom this stacks all really nicely actually on top and then the board the other board so that was what was in the box of Mariposa I'm super excited to learn the rules and start playing it. So look for our how to play and our playthrough coming soon. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more of our videos, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications.